Hey there, John from B2Web, uh, doing a uh, brief tutorial and overview of the daily notes theme by Elegant Themes. Uh, so what you have here is more of a Tumblr style blog theme, and each of these are what I would call an entry, you could call them posts, but they're not all posts because you've got notes, you've got images, you've got quotes, you've got video, you have links, and so forth. So it's a, you can you can choose what type of entry you have for each of these. Um, you also have top navigation or primary navigation. If you go into it, you also have your sidebar set out there. So let's take a look at the uh, back end here, how this theme is set up. Whenever you use Elegant Themes, the starting point is the e-panel. It's called the Theme Options, and you're going to get this uh, screen displayed. This particular theme doesn't have a lot of theme options available. You have your general page. You can upload a logo here. You just click that and upload it. Favicon as well. Choose from four color schemes and you can choose how many posts display on your archive pages. Always remember to save your e-panel changes. On the home page all you have to do is choose how many posts or entries will display. A uh, post or an entry on the home page is one of these boxes. You can dictate your navigation here. However, I highly recommend that you set out your navigation through the custom menus, which is something that comes now with WordPress.org. And so I've set up a number of menus. These are my menus up here. If you want to add a menu you just do so by clicking the plus there and create a new menu. You have to dictate in order to get the menu here. You just theme location, drop down and choose which one will display and save. You can add custom links with a label to any particular theme. You can add pay or a theme to a menu. Uh, you can add which notes you want to show up on a menu. Um, all of these types of entries, video link, etc., as well as your categories. So you have full control of your menus, and you don't only have to make a menu for the top, but you can also make a sidebar menu, which I have displayed here. And then in your widget panel, you will dictate uh, where that will display. So if you want to uh, dictate which menu or menus go to the sidebar, we just go to the widget panel here. There's only one widget zone, it's the sidebar, and uh, you just drag the custom menu widget over to the sidebar widget zone. You can title it if you like, and choose your menu. So you can have multiple menus in here. You can add uh, any of these widgets over to your sidebar, so you can get a long sidebar if that's what you like, including the text, which is a free-for-all widget where you can put in code, images, whatever you like. So adding, um, the thing with daily notes is it's not just adding posts or pages, which is the usual uh, format for adding content with WordPress themes. You actually have uh, distinct types of content you can add. So we can add a note, which is really just like adding uh, a post. So I'm not gonna change, I'm not gonna go through that. Adding a photo, I'm just gonna show you uh, quickly how to do this because it's not as intuitive as you, you would think. So if we grab that photo, what you need to do is you need to go down here use this featured image. If you don't do that, it's not going to pull the photo to display on the home page. So you have to set that up. So there you go. Save your changes and Like publish. I'm not going to publish it, but that's how you would be able to get that image to pull. Adding a quote, uh, again, not it's fairly intuitive, but you're not going to add your quote here. You can title it, and then it's in the ET settings down here. Enter your quote text. You don't have to put uh, quotation marks around it because it does this cool right here. It does this. It does it for you automatically. Adding a video, so the same concept here. Uh, yeah, you can also choose which categories you put all of these entries in as well. You can add a title, you can add text if you like. Your video embed code goes in this box here. Adding a link, it's a little bit goofy. Um, what you do is you put in the site URL here. It'll display as 
right here at http da, 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 www. now if you wanted to actually link though you put in your let's say we're going to link to the b2 website you actually put it in there you put uh, highlight it and link it in the usual fashion you can put a title and then publish it and then it will link to that page so there we go we've got that linked right there and adding audio you just upload a, the audio um, uh, file and you're good to go. So you get a lot of cool content uh, types of content that you can upload as particular entries. You can also of course add full blog posts. You can add full blog pages. So you can certainly use this theme as a full out uh, blog uh, theme and just blog and put thousand word entries in there. You don't have to do these quick little Tumblr style entries. It's a nice looking, this is a really popular theme by the way, uh, lots of people get it, so, uh, and I can see why it's it's kind of a fun little blog. I don't know if it'd be um, all that great as a, as a professional or business blog, but certainly for a personal type blog, it's absolutely ideal. So. And that wraps up this uh, overview slash review of the uh, Daily Notes theme by Elegant Themes.